game. Dramatic uh, right to the very finish. Obviously, their last shot even was a hard stopper. At some point in the fourth quarter, we had foul situations in our favor for a change in uh, this game. And I just said, Michael, you got to take it to the hoop. You're too tired to hit that shot. And then, and it's all said and done. He stops and hits a jumper. Uh, but that's his confidence, and that's how he plays. Tell me, really and truly, at this moment, what you are feeling. Are you feeling partial relief or happiness, uh, both, more? We're really glad this is over. <laughs> Make no doubt about it. You guys are, too. I know it seems to go on and on this season. And it's been such a dramatic, uh, you know, baton march that we've gone through. Uh, you know, just ever since Indiana, we've been just under-energized, a little bit undermanned, and, uh, you know, we've been able to win. And it's just been an amazing thing that these guys have a great heart, and they just keep coming back, and, and we're relieved. But we're very proud of our effort. You have reiterated over and over again, this is it. This is the end for me. If it is the end for you here in Chicago, are you taking a year off? Would you prefer to end up in Seattle? Would you like to go to uh, the Clippers? <laughs> what are your plans, my man? <laughs> you know, I got plans of getting back to Chicago tonight sometime at 3 or 4 in the morning, and that's about it. I, you know, I, I love coaching basketball. I don't think it gets any better than what I've done in Chicago. And to continue on with this profession, you know, obviously I have to listen to what people have to say, but that's not my intention. My intention right now is to sit back, enjoy this.